Hello and welcome to the Packed Technology Tutorial. This will be a series of three movies. The first movie will be using QuickTime Pro to edit our clips and then save out a larger video file from QuickTime. Second movie will be using Handbrake to compress <clears throat> that file that we saved out of QuickTime Pro. And then the third movie will actually be, you know, how to attach and upload your assignments in TK20. So let's go ahead and start with QuickTime. So for our purposes, we will be using QuickTime Pro. And I am on a Macintosh computer. Um, doesn't mean that you couldn't do this on a PC, but the Pro application. So, and again, this is QuickTime 7. So I'm going to open QuickTime 7. And then within QuickTime, if you want to just figure out whether or not you do have the Pro version, you click on QuickTime Player 7 at the top, and then you're going to go to About QuickTime 7. And then in this little pop-up window, you should see the word Pro in the bottom corner of the icon here. And if you don't have Pro, you can always go online uh, through Apple and you can buy the Pro Player, and it's, I believe, $29. And the link to that should be in the description for this video. So, all right. So I'm going to start by, I have my two clips here on my desktop that I want to basically edit and then combine them into one clip. So I'm going to open these with QuickTime. So I'm going to right-click on the video, open with QuickTime 7. So there's my first clip, and then I'm going to go to the desktop, find my second one, open with QuickTime 7. And I'm going to do these at half size, just so I can see them a little bit better. Half size, just like that. Okay. So this this first clip that I'm looking at, it's a .mov file straight from the camera. Looks like it's about 14 minutes long, so I just want to take about, let's say, 8 minutes out of this clip and 8 minutes out of this clip and combine it into one video. So with this open, and again, with the Pro Player, you should see these two handles in the timeline. So wherever I drag these handles, I can select portions of video. So I could actually trim this player to just this section right here. So let's say I want from the beginning of the video to about eight minutes. So I can move the playhead. I'm just clicking and dragging here. I can move it to about eight minutes. And then I can drag the out slider to eight minutes right there. So in, point, out, point, just like that. So what I can do, I can go to edit, trim to selection, and this will actually just get rid of the excess video that's outside of those in and out points. Or I can just open up a file, new player, and paste what I have in that selection into a new player. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit, copy, then I'm going to file, new player, and then this new player, I'm just going to go to edit, paste. So there is my, this. so there's my eight minutes in this one player. So I'll do the same thing with the second clip and just paste, paste it in, paste it in, in the timeline right after this eight minutes. So I have this player open. So I'm going to go into my clip 2, and I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to drag these out. So I just want this section right here. So I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then wherever I put my playhead is where it's going to go, where, I'm going to, where it's going to be pasted in. So if I want it to be at the end of this clip, I'll put the playhead at the end of the clip. If I want it at the beginning, I'll put the playhead at the beginning of the clip. So 
I'm going to play hit at the end. I'm going to go to edit, paste, and then now I should see this highlighted section, which is what I just pasted in. So that's from this, this right here that I copied. So now if I move my playhead, when I get to this point, it should switch video clips. Yep. And then when I go to save it, I just want to make sure that these playheads are the whole clip. So with my new player, this should be under 20 minutes. So yeah, it's about 11 minutes, 33 seconds. And the way that you can tell the actual time code is just down in this, this guy right here. So I'm going to save this out. I'm expecting this, okay, yeah, so this will also tell me how big it's going to be. So I'm way over the 100 megabyte limit, which is not good, but that's going to be in the next video when I compress it in Handbrake. So I'm just going to save it to the desktop, and I'm going to call it Clips Combined. And then I'm just going to do a save. So while this is saving, a couple places where you could potentially have trouble is if you're if you're on a Macintosh and um, you're trying to work with uh, WMV files, you're probably if if you need to export WMV on a Mac, you have to get what's called the Flip for Mac player, and that will cost an additional fee, and I and you even have to upgrade your player for Flip for Mac to be able to export clips that are longer than like 30 seconds. So if you can avoid WMV files, it's probably best if you're working on a Mac. Just work with .mov or .mp4 files. So this is done exporting. So I have my combined clips saved to my desktop right here. So this clip down here, we'll, we will take this into Handbrake and then we will compress it.